It's still working. And welcome to the Winnipeg Team Handball League Women's Final between the Fury HC and Voltage HC. We're going to get going here in the first. 30 minutes on the clock. And that'll go off. They'll be goalie's ball. Fury in the gray and Voltage in the yellow. They're going to move that around. Fired from outside. That'll go over the net. That'll be goaltender's ball. Two seconds. Bingo. And welcome back. You're watching the Winnipeg Team Heat Ball League Women's Final. Here between Fury and Voltage, they're going to move that around into the zone. And yeah, that'll be fired off back out to number 10. I'm just going to grab my rosters real quick. And she shoots and scores! 28 minutes to go out, and that's the opening goal for Team Fury. Goes up 1-0. We got a couple cameras in here tonight. We got three cameras with one down behind the net, one, and the other one down in the corner, and a third one up high. Uh, bring it around, right hand side, fire, and a big save. Again with the swim. Up through the middle, feeds the pivot, and it's knocked away by Voltage. And they score! Picks up the rebound, number 11. Puts it in the back of the net, making it 2 nothing Fury. Uh, working around left back, come back up the center, shifts it to the wing, she fires and she finds the bottom corner. Making it two to one, Voltage, or sorry, Fury leading two to one. We'll bring that back out, Fury with it now on offense. Moves it around center back. Down low, that goes off. That'll be a football. That'll come back the other way. The voltage ball from just outside their own nine. They're going to move that right now to the right wing side. Yeah, really bad. Matt fires from outside. She goes wide. And with this women's bracket, actually, it was an interesting story. Uh, Fury got here by forfeit over the first versus fourth place semifinal over Y and R. Apparently, there was not enough players to field the game, so Fury will advance to the final here to take on Voltage, who defeated Deep Blue HC by a score of 16 to 5 in the other side of the semifinal. Earlier today, or late, well, sorry, we were also supposed to have a fifth place game. Uh, that would have been Gambit HC versus Phoenix HC. But Phoenix also had the same problem as Y and R as they uh, could not field enough players for the game today. So here in the final, we have Fury and Voltage. 
24-57 to go 3-1 right now in favor of Fury HC. Brings it around, fires over top, and a big save. That'll knock off into the corner. They'll work that back around outside. Out to the left wing side. She's tied up through center. And that'll get the yellow card. Number 10 with the warning. And they'll get the shot, making it three to two. Voltage, moving themselves within one. Fury with it now, they'll work that around the outside to the right wing side, right back feet center. Oh, and she's fouled. No, no call. That should have been a seven in my opinion. Referee says it's all ball. Through the middle, and that'll be mocked off into the side. Good save by the goaltender. Suggesting our makeshift booth here tonight. Fury will work that around, left hand side. Knocked away, tried to feed the pivot. That'll come back out to the left back. Out through center, they'll move that out to the right hand side. Right back, tax, makes, and that'll be traveling one too many steps. And uh, Voltage will bring it back the other way. Move that around, back down, right wing side, back out to the right back. Dribbles, knocked away, but then we get the free throw on that one. Works it back out to center back, right wing, or right back side, through center, left, gets it out to the wing, fires, and that's a big save, comes back out to the other wing, she's gonna force her to the outside. That'll be a free throw for Voltage. Right through the center. Oh, and she finds it. The goaltender thought it was going over the net. And that'll tie things up. Three apiece, 21-43 left here in the first half. Back out to the right-hand side. She's got that. Fires over top. And a big save. They'll get the free throw. Takes it out right-hand side. And she's tied up. That'll actually no call, so that'll be voltage ball. Voltage will come the other way. You're watching handballtv.ca from the Red River College, or Red River Polytechnic, sorry. Notre Dame campus. And they'll get the free throw on that one. Voltage working it around. Fakes comes back center back. She tries to feed it to the left. Coming up over top, fires, and that'll be traveling. One too many steps as she came over the side.
19.55 left here in the first half. All tied up at three. Fury came into the night's game here with in first place. Oh, and a rocket. up coming up through center and they'll get the free throw on that again cutting over the middle Finds a hole, fires, and scores! Great second effort. Definitely showing great athleticism on that one to cut across. I thought she was done at the nine, but she had an extra one in her. And a good save, that'll go off into the corner. That'll be goaltender's ball. 18-18 left here in the second fourth, or the first. 4-3 is the score so far in favor. Actually came from behind. Voltage now leads. And he'll get stopped on that. That'll be a free throw. Oh, right on. We got internet. And just in case you missed it at the beginning, I'm just letting everybody know. You are also listening to handballtv.ca. You can also be watching them here live from Red River College in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Steve Schneider, your play-by-play -play announcer here tonight for the Winnipeg Team Handball League. Women's A final here between Fury HC and the Winnipeg Voltage. 17 17 left here in the first. Works it around to the wing. She fires and a big save by the goaltender. Fury ties it up four to four. Voltage with it now. They'll work that around to the right wing side, bringing it back down to the left now. Through center. Comes in, dishes it to the right wing. She fires, she lobs, and she scores! Great hands. Goaltender was expecting her to rocket that one from the corner. Back through center, feeds the pivot, fires, and oh, she missed the net. Fires, Angel, oh, and she squeaks by. 
Moving them within one. Or up by two, rather. Sorry, Voltage moves up six to four. Fury working it around out to the wing, right through center. And the referee says that's enough, that'll go the other way. Voltage now working it around. Cuts through center, she attacks, feeds it over, gets it out to the wing again, she lobs, oh, and a little bit too much mustard on it this time. Fury with it now, they'll move that back out to center back. Looks like they got two pivots, running a 4-2 offense. Picks it up, oh, and a save. The goal, our referee says she had a toe in the crease. Up next, we'll have the men's final, live from here at Red River Polytechnic. And they score! Voltage, only the first half here so far. And that'll be timeout Fury. As Voltage, the second place team here in this Winnipeg Team Handball League. Showing that they want first. 13 point, or 13.01 left here in the first uh, half. 7-4 is your score here so far for Voltage HC uh, over Winnipeg Fury. And we'll be going to a quick break and we'll be right back. I'm Steve Schneider and you're watching handballtv.ca. big one and then you can do four. This is fine. You can zoom in just a little bit more. But you can go past it by doing that. Okay. Go about there. And you can see some smiles. All right, welcome back. We are watching handballtv.ca. I'm Steve Schneider, and we're here for Red River College uh, between the Winnipeg Fury and the Winnipeg Voltage in the Winnipeg Team Handball League Women's Final. Fury with it, moves it out to the right-hand side, gets it to the wing, back out to the back. She moves, spins, dishes it off, and fires and scores! Fury needed that time out to regroup, I think. Oh, and she's gonna get the yellow for that. That'll be the second yellow card for this Team Fury. And she'll slide one past the goaltender. Making it eight to five for Voltage. Moves it around, gets it off to the left wing. She'll feed it back out to the back. Fires, oh, and chest over the net. That one looks like it was gonna find its way home. A 
that's okay. Through center. Off to the right-hand side, gets it to the wing, in the air. Oh, and gets some fingertips on it. Fury down by three, 10 minutes, 45 seconds to go here in the half. Pinks tries to fire over top, thanks, and an easy one for the goaltender. Voltage going to work it around. Oh, I don't think she was ready for that one yet. Moves it around, gets it out to the right-hand side. Fakes up high, feeds the pivot, and that'll be football, so that'll be a, it'll be Winnipeg Fury ball. Moves it down to the wing, comes up over top, and she finds the net! Voltage now on offense. Nine minutes, 22 seconds to go here in the half. Fires from the outside. Rebound picked up by Winnipeg Fury. And they're gonna try and move it back the other way. Moves it around to the right wing side. Feeds the wing. Cuts back in, gets it out. She's gonna, no, she thought she was gonna shoot over top. And it comes from the right back position, fires. Eight minutes, 45 seconds to go here. Oh, goes right through her hand. And they're going to move that up the court. Voltage hustles back on D. Oh, and she scores! That was a tough angle shot, especially for a right-hander. <laughs> Winnipeg Volt or Fury. Came back, tied it up, eight to eight. That was a much needed timeout. Fires through the defense, and she's able to put that one home. And a big save by the Fury goaltender, or sorry, by the Voltage goaltender. They don't have numbers. save that'll come back the other way Fury pushing it up the court Burrell intercepted takes it to the outside oh and she scores wow what a goal you can't stop her That Taylor Thorkelson with the goal. Fakes over top. Burrill with the pass. 
And he scores! We're good. Big help. And a timeout called. Six minutes left in the half. We got a close one here, folks. 10 9 so far. You're watching HandballTV.ca. I'm Steve Schneider. We're coming to you from the Red River Polytechnic here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. You're watching the Winnipeg Team Handball League Women's Final between Voltage HC and the Winnipeg Fury HC. There's a timeout called. That'll bring the, the ball right back up to center here. It'll be Voltage ball. That last goal by Thorkelson, though, that was the definition of an extra effort play. Senderwich in that pivot. Mills moves it off to the left over to Thorkelson. Mills back out over to the right. That'll get it to Mitchell Duick. Mitchell Duick with it, fires over top, and she scores! Mitchell Duick with the goal. Winnipeg Fury HC with it, Burrell with it at center. That'll go out to the right-hand side. Burrell with it again. They move it out left-hand side this time. Can't quite hold on to it, goaltender's gonna grab that. And Fury taking their time getting up the court. Moves it in, feeds it off to the right hand side. She fires off the crossbar. Good shot by Sanifar. Shanifar, sorry. Well, that'll bounce off and that'll go out to the right hand side, back through the middle. Thorkelson with it now. Mills loses it and knocked away by the Winnipeg Fury defense. Feeds the outside, gets that to, to Mission. Fury moving it up the court, feeds Burrell, she fakes, fires, and scores! Making it 11-10. Thorkelson with it out on the left-hand side. Moves it over to Mills. Mitchell Duick attacks, gets it to Mills. Mills fakes, fires, oh, and she scores! Off the fingertip. And makes it 12 to 10 for Winnipeg Voltage, HC. Moves it around, gets it over to Burrell, she fakes, goes back through center. Back out right hand side, gets it up in the air, and a big save, that'll come back, that'll be voltage ball. Fast break, right into the hands, Mitchell Duick with the fast break, that was a heads up pass by Thorkelson. 13-10, Voltage increased their lead by three. Burrell with it at center. Fires, good save. Voltage gets the rebound. Thorkelson with it now at the left back. Mills at center. Mitchell Duick right back. Shanifar over on the right back, a right wing position. Thorkelson with it over top the middle, back over to Mills. Mills feeds the wing, fakes. She's tied up, but she'll get that to Mills. 
Mills gets it to Ferkelson, fires it over top, and that'll be goaltender's ball. Good save. Through center. Oh, and she finds the bottom corner. Two minutes to go here in the half, 13-11. Fury trying to mount a comeback here coming into the second half. Mills through center, over to Mitchell Duick. Back over to Mills, gets it out to the corner, and oh, and it gets a piece of that. To Mission, out on the left wing side, a good chance, couldn't quite get it. The goaltender got a little piece of that one. Brill feeds it outside. Comes back out, comes back out to center. Beats the defender, but can't beat the goaltender. Through, oh, and off the crossbar, good shot. And that'll be voltage ball. Last minute of play here in the half. Voltage currently leading by two. So it tied up, 35 seconds to go here in the half. And they'll call the charge on that one, so that's gonna come back the other way. Fifteen seconds to go in the half. Fury trying to get one last shot here. Beautiful pass, but an even better save. And that'll do it here for the first half. Volt, Winnipeg Voltage HC leads 13 to 11 over the Winnipeg Fury HC. I'm Steve Schneider. You're watching handballtv.ca, and we'll see you in the second half. Welcome back. You're watching Winnipeg Team Handball League action here on handballtv.ca between the Winnipeg Fury HC here in the women's final for 2022-23. Voltage coming into the second half here, leading by two, 13 to 11. Mills will move that back through center. Mitchell Duick attacks. That's going to be a double dribble, though. Yeah. 
Fury looking to come back here. Fury finished first place this season in the WTHL. They had a record of 17 and one. And not looking to get upset here tonight. Voltage came into tonight's game here with a 12-6-0 record and in second place. So we got a one versus two matchup here in the Winnipeg Team Handball League final. Mills through center. She'll spin. Gets it back out to Mitchell Duick. Finds a seam. And they'll get the free throw. That'll be attack. Mills gets the charge. Dorkelson has 103 goals on the season in the regular season in just 16 games this year so far. Next best on her team is 38 by Amanda Frise. And Thorkelson with another. Top scorer on Winnipeg Fury uh, is Amber Harms with 82 goals in 16 games. And next is uh, Danielle Burrill, number 12, with 46. Fury with it now. They're going to work that around to the outside. Oh, it bounces off her. Coming from the right-hand side, she spins, gets it to Burrill, and that goes over the net. Twenty-seven, thirteen left here in the second half of the women's final here at the Winnipeg Team Handball League Finals. 14-11 in favor of Winnipeg Voltage. Thorkelson, the left back position, moving it around, gets it back out to the corner. And that'll be a free throw, well, it'll be goaltender ball. Referee saying he got all ball on that one. Burrill having a little trouble with it at center. Burrill moves it out left hand side. Thorkelson gets a hand on it. Behind the back pass, over the top, and that'll be a save. Moves it through center, Mills gets it over to Thorkelson. And she's tied up right away. Moves it out through center, Mills shoves it over. Thorkelson can't quite hold on to it. Fury fast breaks the other way. And she scores! Making it 14 to 12 for the Winnipeg Voltage. Mills moves it out to the outside. Mills over top and big save by the goaltender. Fury with it now on the offense. Goes off the hands, that's gonna be drip. Bounces back out over to the right back position. Burrill with it now. We'll move it down the left-hand side, Burrill. Bounce pass over to Owen, oh, a block. Mills gets a hand of that. Comes from the wing now. Goaltender scoops that out of the air.
Thorkelson with it now. Mills attacks in, drops it for Thorkelson, gets it out of to Mitchell Duick, but she's stopped by the goaltender. And that'll roll out the back line. 24-12 left here in the second half. Winnipeg Voltage leading this league final by two, 14-12, with less than 24 minutes to go. Early on here in the second half, lots of time for Fury to come back. Dishes it off, goes right through her hands. She's going to dive. Oh, and just about grabbed it. That's going to be goaltender ball. Dishes it off, gets it back to the right hand side, fires, and that'll be saved by the goaltender. Fury gonna move it around, left hand side, back out to Burrill at center. Brill attacking. Oh, and a big save. Voltage keeping this a two goal game. Brings it out right hand side. Mills through the middle, finds a seam. And a big save by the goaltender. That'll bounce off out the back wall. Fury slowing it down. Bringing it back out through center. Burrill attacking, dishes it to the pivot. Oh, that could have been a few wigs that could have went. That could have been her to keep going, or she could have found the pass that was open on that one. That's going to come back around the right-hand side now. Winnipeg Fury moving it over to the left-hand side. Down to the wing. She sneaks in behind it. Oh, and it's saved by the goaltender. Good thing she got her hands up on that one. Moving around, Voltage, Mills through the middle, fakes, gets it over to Thorkelson, she fights off the, no, they're gonna knock it away, but it'll be Voltage ball. Mills over the top. And that'll miss the net, that'll be goaltender ball. Burrill bringing it the other way for the Fury. Good feed to the pivot. Back out to the wing. Gets it back to the back. She's going to go for it. She spins, goes back. Who switches hands with the pass? I like that. And can't quite solve the goaltender. That'll go back, back behind the net. I believe the Fury have in net tonight. I don't actually have that written down on here. I'll have to find that for you guys for later. However, tonight for goaltender, we got Kelly last in net. Thorkelson swims through and she gets it. Fury moving the ball around, right hand side, down to the wing. Comes in, has some speed, tries to fight it off. 
And that'll go back down into the corner. It'll be a free throw. And they'll score. Fury making it 15 to 13. Voltage still leading by two. Dorkelson over the top. And she'll score. Moves it around the wing and gets it back to the back. Feeds the pivot, but it's knocked away. Voltage going to come the other way, leading by three now. Thorkelson controlling the tempo here. Feeds it out to the right-hand side, over through the middle. Mitchell Duick feeds it down to the left wing. Thorkelson feeds it over top, gets it back, fires, all in a big save. Gets the pass off, just about tied up. Shovels it over. Looking for the pivot, she dives, oh, and doesn't quite get it. Good effort, though. 17-25 to go here in the half. Voltage leading by three. If I had to pick my player in the game tonight for Voltage so far, number 11, Thorkelson. Seventeen minutes to go here in the half. Thorkelson with it at the left back position, moves it back out to center back. Mitchell do it, moves it down low. Tied up. Chow tried to get it over the pivot. Sixteen forty-two left here in the second. And, oh, and misses, that goes on the outside. Thought she maybe caught the corner on that one. Comes in on the attack, swims, gets it out over to the right. And that's knocked away. And finds the back and then on that one, making it 16-14. Still a two goal game here for the Voltage. And they're gonna get the seven. Thorkelson will take the shot. And a big save. That could be a turning point here, folks. Definite momentum shift after that penalty shot save. Thorkelson is the top scorer of this league. Goes, looked like that went off of a hand. Hey, 
Darkelson through center, gets it to Mills. Mitchell Duick feeds it out to the outside. It'll be brought back. And that goes out of bounds. That'll be a Winnipeg Fury ball. 14-14 left here in the second half. You're watching Winnipeg Team Handball League Women's Final between the Winnipeg Fury and the Winnipeg Voltage. Voltage finds themselves up by two right now. Trying to upset the Winnipeg Fury who only have one loss on the season so far this year. And not exactly when you plan to do it is in the finals and when you lose your second one. Fury, or Voltage moves it around, Mills shovels it off to the right, gets it to the wing, fires, and an easy save by the goaltender. Burrill tries to feed the pivot, she gets it there, and a save! That'll be goaltender ball as she gets a bit of the crease on that one. Voltage moving around Mills through center. They get it off to the right wing. That's going to come back around. That's a travel. Oh, they're going to give her the free throw. Over the top. Oh, and she gets a block. Dishes it off. And another big save. 12.35 left here in the second half. Voltage leading 16-14. Moves it in over to Burrell, spins, fires, and a big save. Winnipeg Fury not giving up here late in this game. Like I said, they've only had one loss on the entire season so far this year. And move that back around through center. Mills with it, dishes it off to the left-hand side. And a bounce shot, she's gonna grab that. Fury with it now. Hey, grab a free throw for that. On it. Moves it around, middle of, through the side to the left hand, goes around, takes it down low. center he's going to be there looks like we're going to get a penalty shot oh she scores moves them in within one 16 15 with 10 minutes left to go here Looks like Voltage has mixed up their line, line up a bit. Shanafar with the shot, scores! So I just mentioned they moved her from left wing, or from right wing to left wing. As they were doubling up on her on that side. 17-15 is the score, nine minutes, 52 seconds to go. As he makes the save, Voltage coming the other way, currently only leading by two. Torkelson gets stopped by Burrill.
Burrell jumps on the loose ball. Fury coming the other way. Gonna slow things down just a bit. Moves through the defense, fakes, fires. And she's gonna make this save. Nine minutes, four seconds to go here in the second half. Winnipeg Voltage leading 17 to 15. Bounce pass, that's gonna go wild. Voltage gonna get the free throw. Moves it out right hand side. Mitchell Duick moves it over to Mills. Mills, Shanafar, feeds the pivot, makes her way through. Oh, that'll be Voltage ball. Sanderwich passes it off Mills. Just a shot, that'll stay, go back off the back wall, so that'll be goaltender ball. Eight minutes to go here in the second half. Brill fakes the shot, they get that out to the right-hand side, they'll bring that back out. That'll go wide in the net. Voltage trying to play out the last seven minutes and 35 seconds here, and they will be the 2022-2023 Winnipeg Team Handball League champions. But there's a lot of time to go here, and it's only a two-goal game, two -goal game. Voltage with it now. Trying to upset the uh, number one Winnipeg Fury Handball Club here. They finished the season with 17 and one. Moves it off right hand side. And they'll get the free throw on that. Seven minutes to go here. And that shot will go wide. Gets it out to the, oh and it's intercepted. Voltage with the fast break. And she, I'm not even sure how that ended up being legal. No, I, I can't explain exactly what happened. I think that bounced off of everything but below the knee. So that's still low, allowed. Six minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the second. Moves it around, she's gonna shift it off to the right hand side, back down to Shanafar. Fakes, goes back, oh and she hits the crossbar. Six minutes to go. Burrell over top, and she scores! Making this a one goal game. Mills through center, makes the fake. And she's gonna basically hold on. Off the crossbar, that'll go over the net. Five minutes, 13 seconds to go here in the game. Oh, goes right through her hands. Maybe be a foot race. Thorkelson dives, gets it, what a pass. Wow. And Shanafar almost gets it, but it's broken up by the Fury defender. What a play. How about that extra effort by uh, Thorkelson? They're definitely playing like it. It's a league final here tonight. Four minutes, 28 seconds to go. Grill fires. And saved by the goaltender. 
One goal game here so far, 17 to 16. Brill playing up on Mills out at half, isolating her. Or sorry, not Mills, Thorkelson. Senderwich passes it off. Mil uh, Thorkelson gets it out over to Mills. Over to the side, beats the defender, all over the net. Voltage just going to let that roll because they need that clock to run out. You can get your own ball. That killed at least eight seconds off the clock. Moves it in, Brill. Shovels it off, spins. Fakes Brill with it. And that's a seven. They're gonna give her a penalty shot. With two minutes, 50 seconds to go here. And she scores. Tying it up 17 to 17. Oh, we got a nail biter here, folks. Senderwich puts it out on the right hand side. They'll get that back out. Oh, goes over her head. Well, they'll get that just before it went out. Senderwich fakes, dishes it off. Oh, and she's met by the defense. Fury trying to get a late goal here. One minute and 50 seconds left here in the second half of the Winnipeg Team Handball League Finals between the Winnipeg Fury and the Winnipeg Voltage. Fires, oh, it hits the post! One minute, 33 seconds, and a timeout is called by Voltage. Seventeen, seventeen is your score right now. You know, one minute, thirty-one seconds to go here in the second half. This is a tight one. That one might need a new warming up in the end zones. We've got the uh, Winnipeg Tube Sharks and the Winnipeg Pikes. So then we're going to get going here after the timeout. Air one minute, 31 seconds to go here in the second half. So that ball will probably be tossed in by the goaltender down here at this end. And play will resume. Mills out to the right hand side. She's met. And that'll come back out to center. She's got a breakaway. Thorkelson, she beats her. Oh, and a big save! Huge! One minute to go. 17-17, all tied up. Thorkelson with the ball at center. 
Mills with it. Makes a move, gets it to Shanna Farr. She shoots, she scores! Making it 18 to 17 with 40 seconds left here in the second half. Feeds it off to the pivot, loose ball, and they'll call the free throw. 19 seconds to go. Fury trying to get one last goal here. Burrell with it, she shoots, oh, and she's met with the charge. And five seconds to go, Mills makes the body contact that stops the goal. 2.7 seconds to go here. And it's safe to say that the Voltage HC are your 2022-2023 Winnipeg Team Handball League champions. Final score, 18-17. You're watching handballtv.ca. I'm Steve Schneider, live from Red River Polytechnic in Winnipeg, Manitoba on Treaty 1 territory. You're watching the Winnipeg Team Handball League Finals. Where the Winnipeg Voltage have been victorious and upset the first place Winnipeg Fury. Uh, thank you for tuning in. You're watching handballtv.ca. We'll see you next game.